Well, I figured I'd do a quick little walk around the new system. We have uh, 12 zip grow towers on the wall. They each uh, have their own valve, control the flow. We got an IBC tote fish tank. The sides are just uh, covered up with uh, just uh, fence slats. We've got an overflow drain in the back. We've got a solid lifting overflow here. And uh, it's a little different than usual. That's actually a, a stand pipe. So we got a two inch pipe going down to the drain and it actually goes through the adapter and sticks up into the four inch pipe. It makes a stand pipe in there. That's what sets the height of the water in the tank. And then I have a uh, external sump. We've got a pump, we've got a venturi fitting here, pushing air into the system. Pumps in the middle, we've got two feeds, one into the tank, one to the uh, towers. I have one more feed that's going to go inside the grow room. If you've seen my videos before, you know I have a grow room. Uh, the whole purpose of this tank out here was really so that I can do aquaponic microgreens in my grow room. Um, but since I needed a filter system, I went ahead and added the towers. So those towers, uh, probably going to plant some uh, strawberries in them here coming up next month. But we've got it running, and I added, from the main system over there, I added a bucket of water out of the radial flow filter. So I got a bunch of solids in it. When I drain the radial flow filter every day, I just went ahead and drained it in here. That should kickstart the bacteria, get some solids in here without any fish, and uh, get my process running. So hopefully in a week I'll go ahead and add the fish, and after that I'll uh, start planting some stuff. Still need to get the plumbing done to the grow room on the inside, but that's another day. Once that's done I'll go ahead and do a follow-up of the whole thing. Got any questions about it, go ahead and leave them in the comments. and. Uh, I do answer on a regular basis, so uh, thanks for watching.